You've probably heard of websites making $25,000, $50,000, even over $100,000 a month by displaying Google ads like these. And although it does take a lot of visitors to the site to actually make that kind of money, setting up the Google ads actually only takes a few minutes. Now, you will need to have your own WordPress website set up for this first before you follow along, but if you don't, that's okay. I have an awesome tutorial on how to start a WordPress website. It's the first link in the description, or you can click on the card at the top right of the screen. It's super easy to do, there's no coding, and you can get it done in less than an hour. Okay, let's get started. Step number one is to sign up for Google AdSense. To do this, just simply go over to adsense.google.com slash start, and I'll also put a link to this in the description as well. And then just click on sign up. And then it will just ask you to sign into your Google account. And then from here, just go ahead and type in your website. And then we'll ask if you want customized help. I'm just gonna go ahead and say no. And then you're gonna set up your country here. I'm in the United States, so I'm just gonna select that and then just scroll down and accept the terms of agreement. And then just click start using AdSense. Now, step number two is to connect your site and submit it for approval. So there are two ways to do this and we're actually gonna do both just as a fail safe. So the first one is to go over to your website and you're gonna go over to your plugins for WordPress and click add new plugin. And then in the search bar, just type in site kit and then you'll see SiteKit by Google Analytics right here. Just go ahead and install that, and then click Activate. And now you'll see this little congratulations window, and we can just click on Start Setup. And you can choose to connect Google Analytics with this setup. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it blank though, and just click on Sign In with Google. And then just select your account, and then click Continue and then continue again. And now we have to verify our ownership. So just go ahead and click on verify. And then just click on allow if you wanna turn on the metrics for your dashboard, which are helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow that. And then just go ahead and click on next. And congratulations, we are set up with SiteKit and our site is connected. Now we're gonna do one more just as a fail safe in case this plugin ever gets deleted or deactivated for any reason, we're gonna put a little code on our website to connect it as well. So I'm just gonna click go to my dashboard and then just go back over to Google AdSense and you can see this little window right here that says connect your site to AdSense. We're gonna click let's go. And you can do this with either a code snippet a text snippet or a meta tag, we are gonna do the code snippet because that to me is the easiest one. So just go ahead and copy this. And putting it on our site where it's hidden is so easy. So just go back over to WordPress and then we're just going to go visit our site. And I use Elementor to edit my website. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it with Elementor, but I will also quickly show you how to add it without Elementor. So to do this with Elementor, just go over to the widget search box and type in HTML like that. And then we're just going to drag this in somewhere near the top of our website, just like that. You want it near the top because they want it displayed somewhere near your header. And then go over to this little box here and just paste that code. And then just click on publish. Now, if you don't have Elementor, I'll show you how to do that really quick. So just go back on over to WordPress and this is the WordPress editor for a page. Now I have the dark theme on, yours might be white, but just go ahead and click on the plus button and then just type HTML and then just click that. And then from here, you can just paste in that code again and then simply click on publish. And this code will be invisible on your page so you will not even see it. It's that easy. So once you've pasted your code, just go back over to Google AdSense and we're just gonna tick this little box that says I've placed the code, and then just click verify. And then just like that, your site is verified. And then just click next. And then you can just request a review. Now there are three things that Google AdSense is gonna be looking for with your website, and that is quality content, original content, and that you have a privacy policy page. And if you need a privacy policy, it's as simple as asking ChatGPT to write one for you. So just go ahead and click on request review and it will say thanks for connecting the site. And if you do wanna click on this, you can learn more about how to get your site approved. 
So now, step number three is to display ads on your site. And this is so easy to do. Just simply go over to this box here in the middle where it says see how ads look on your site and click on explore. And it will give you this little mobile version of your website as well as a desktop version up here. And the easiest way to do this is to simply just click on auto ads, especially if you've never done this before. And the reason is because it will automatically display ads on your website. So you can see a slot for one right here. If you scroll down, there's another one. It will kind of naturally place them on your website where they think that they should go. And if for some reason you don't want an ad in a certain spot, you can just go ahead and click on this little cancel button for that one ad. And you can see this brings you over to the excluded areas page. So here you can see that we do have these blue ones which are displaying, but I've canceled this one. So this will not display. So this is the nice thing about auto ads. And if you accidentally excluded one, you can just go ahead and click on restore. And that will put it right back to normal. And then just make sure you check on the mobile version as well to see where these ads are going to go. Just like this. And if you like it, just go ahead and click apply to site. And then we're just going to say apply now and click save. Cool. Our ad settings are confirmed. And if you do want to create individual ads and place them on your site, you can just go on over to ads right over here. And then we're going to go to buy ad unit to create a new one. And these are the different types of ads that you can create. Now, the one that they recommend and I also recommend is the display ads. It's just going to work everywhere on your website all around. So if you just go ahead and click on that, you can see a sample of what the ad looks like. And obviously this will change depending on the advertiser. And then we can just give it a name like AdSense ad one. And we want this to be set to responsive so that it can work on mobile as well. And then just click on create. And it will give you this code which you can just copy and place on your website using Elementor or WordPress editor. So we'll just go on over to Elementor and we're just gonna tap on the plus button and type in HTML. And then you can just drag this anywhere on your site that you wanna place an ad. And then just paste the code. And then you can just click publish. And it can take a few days or even two to four weeks to get approved. But if you wanna check on your approval status, you can just go ahead and click on sites. And then you can see your websites down here. And getting ready means that they are looking at your site. Once it changes to ready, your site will be displaying ads. And you will also get an email confirmation about this as well. All right, it really is that easy. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It really does help my channel out a lot. And if you're looking for more tutorials on how to create professional websites, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Dale McManus, and I will see you on the next video.